not really fair to compare, but this one works very well, even without Zeus. Uh, yeah, it's just very RNG, RNG dependent. Same for Bedlam at some point. Uh, you insta-kill everything uh, if you crit, but if you don't crit... GG! Uh, always make sure you have a normal one without crystal. Very important, because it ramps up the damage. Do you want your account to look like this? Then stop buying things in the app and use the Roche Royale Market instead. Here you will get all the usual offers, but the prices are either cheaper or you will just get more for your money. Simply choose the product you want, enter your account ID as well as the code GodlikeMike and the reward of your choice will be directly sent to your account. Those who enter their name and Roche Royale ID in the message box will automatically be part of my monthly giveaway and have the chance to win up to an additional $100. All the giveaway winners will be mentioned in a public community post on my YouTube channel and the prize will be directly sent to their accounts. Feel free to check out the video description for more info as well as the link to the Rosh Hashanah market. Thanks a lot for your support and may RNG give you the legendaries that you wish for. Let's do this one last time. Do you think Hex is any good with Demon Hunter? No, not at all. Hex is a horrible unit. Probably one of the most useless units in the game right now. Like, Hex is dead. Nobody ever plays Hex. It's really bad. Sloy! Yo, let's go! Yeah, I just want to show you guys the power of High Arcanist. Especially the people that are newer to the game or they don't really have a high account or like a high legendary. I would say unless you have a legendary with a talent level 9 and a good legendary, then I highly recommend you to play Crystal Mancer. It's so brokenly good. Uh, with this exact deck right here, uh, obviously I have Zeus uh, this time so it's not really fair to compare, but this one works very well, even without Zeus. Uh, I don't have a double spot right I do. Yeah. You basically just get a dude on your double spot, if you have one. There we go. Get this guy up. Uh, always make sure you have a normal one without crystal, very important because it ramps up the damage. So every single hit uh, Crystal Mancer does increases the damage uh, on the target up to 800%. So um, even though your main goal is to collect crystals for this guy, you do need one or even two of the guys that doesn't have a crystal, very important. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. Mm, that's not what I wanted. That's fine. Perfect. Now I have a good guy on the Zeus spot. I'll go for one since I have Zeus and the high attack speed. I recommend you to go for two of those if you're a free to play player. And yeah, always try to copy those for the value. Do not copy Harlequins because you will run out of mana very quickly. At least tier one. So if you get, uh, yeah, let's let's say you get a tier three, you can actually copy this guy because you don't want to get stuck with a very high summoner. You can't turn it around. Mm. Go more crystal guys. Yeah, since I have the first talent on Summoner, uh, it's not an issue. Mm -hmm. yeah, just try to always get enough value. I would love to copy those and just merge those out, but yeah, it's not, not the greatest move to go. Okay. 
Yeah, but also, whenever you can, do not uh, merge out those if you only have two. Try to merge something else and get another Harlequin. Now I have three of them, now I can merge out those. And I can always copy those again. Same here, I have a two tier two Harlequin. Just put one here, copy that guy. Bam! So I got uh, every merge I basically do, I get a free unit. So this really ramps up. This gets you a lot of additional value. Um, yeah, I might I still lose this one. Sloy is a, a absolute... Ah. Oh, I'm misleading, I think. There is another guy called Sloy that is really, really good. I don't know about this one here. But yeah, in the end it's very RNG because if you don't crit with this guy, it's really bad. But if you do crit, I'm gonna be very happy. Sometimes if you're stuck like I am right now, you can do... Um, mm, yeah, let's put it here, this one will automatically upgrade. You can copy the drives whenever you're stuck, just make sure you, it's not your main focus that you copy the drives. Like the typical move the most noobs would do is like copy this straight away and try to put it somewhere else, like into this guy. But you can just merge out the tier ones that are not needed, like these two guys. And uh, yeah, get rid of that one for example. Merge it away so I can get some more stacks here. Now I get a lot of those. Mm. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Mm hmm. Exactly, brother. I killed you. Mm, yeah, at this point, I uh, can't get much stronger anymore. Except of collecting some stacks. Trying to collect some stacks. Oh, I haven't even upgraded it yet. One issue you have, uh, if you don't play Mermaid level 5, is if anything hits this guy, for example, the the black the priest here, if the card lands on this guy, the game is over immediately. Uh, yeah, it's just very RNG, RNG dependent. Same for Bedlam at some point. Uh, you insta-kill everything uh, if you crit, but if you don't crit... GG! But yeah, in general, it's really good deck. I mean, everybody's running legendaries. And this guy is like level 11, it's really not that high. But it does beat most of the tier A level 9 legendaries. So I really highly recommend you to play this if you can. But yeah, just keep in mind, if this one hits you, you're, the game is over. So yeah. But you see he has a tier 6 with 32 stacks on a pile. And yeah, they just die like bother. Please don't hit this guy. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. yeah, now it can even spread. The good thing is virus, you don't even care about virus with this deck because um, yeah, it's uh, it will shoot every three seconds anyways. Uh, yeah, of course you get way less diamonds, but um, yeah, it's, it's crazy good. So free to play. Um, definitely play this deck right here with J if you want to do big damage and if you have mermaid level 5 well J5 it needs to be 5 every, every hero needs to be 5 otherwise just play trainer um, as soon as you have any hero level 5 just play that hero J or mermaid crazy good please put your thoughts about this video in the comments like and subscribe or the next warlock will hit your highest damage dealer unit just saying i don't make the rules check out the rush oil market for the best price in the game and use the code god like mike because remember spend smarter not harder also if you like the content here is a lot more of it thank you very much and see you next time